you know, even through different people, we all got different minds, we all got different opinions, different things, but keep them work, bring everything together. Because my message is going to complement his message. Okay. And y'all said, you're going you gonna to have to go after Joseph. I said, well, I'll post another one. <laughs> I'm in his... I've been to Mishiach Temple. He, he, he brought up Yosef. He already had everything. I'm just going to sit back and let it play. play it so, um, you know, praise us to the Almighty. Just want to give a, a, a small prayer. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you for being able to come to Mishiach Temple and be able to just fellowship with my ox and my aquatees to just be here, Father. Pray that your spirit is in a place, oh, yeah. that you bless, that you just have mercy on us because we understand we all have fallen short, Father, oh, and our yeah. righteousness is as filthy rags. So oh, we pray yeah. that you send your yeah. hand and you yeah. touch us, Father, yeah. and you just bless us, Father. We pray for those out there who need truth and for the rest of Israel that you open up their eyes because we understand you have a prophecy and you ask us and you use us, should I say, Father, in your prophecy so that your will be done. Hallelujah. Pray these things in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. 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 Just like it's stated in the scriptures, you know, I have not seen nor have it entered into the hearts of men the things that Yah have for those who love him. So, you know, he come with that new heaven scripture and um, I'm actually going to talk about the power of Yah and his system for his beloved people. Mm -hmm. okay. So he, he came with the new heaven, but I'm going to talk about his system because we live in a, in a place right now, a beast system. Okay. You know, we're, right. we're in Babylon. So, right. But the system is designed for us to be slaves, not yeah. only physically, right. but even mentally, yes. even right. through religion. Yeah. You know, and, and by opening up our eyes and, and, and learning the truth and, and everything out here, you know, told out of Yah for that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about his system. We can go to Leviticus 25. And I'm going to um, we'll kind of stay in here for a second. You know, the, the, the system that we live in is designed for debt. You know, it, it, it's designed to make us live in it. They even built a credit system. You don't even need money in a minute. It's just straight, you know, and it's designed to keep people like us, especially Israel especially us, in bondage. But when y'all set up the actual Israel, as we talked about earlier, people stiff-necked and hard-headed yeah. and yeah. don't want to obey after seeing all the signs and all the wonders, even now, like we said, even today yeah. it's like that. So we don't want to follow what he says, so he put us in greater bondage. Come on. You know, but That's when we right. do enter into the new heaven, all of those things are gone, and we will obey the system because he's yeah. perfect. Everything y'all do is perfect. Yeah. Even when he created man and put the tree there, it wasn't his imperfection that made us bite the tree right. or the fruit. It was right. our imperfection yeah. that made us bite yes. the fruit. But he has a vision and his will will be done yes, sir. Uh, no matter yeah. what. So let's go ahead and go to Leviticus 25. We're going to expound on some of these verses real quick because this is what the Father kind of been moving on my heart with. And um, let's see here. As it reads, starting at verse 1, And Yah spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto Yah. So yeah. now he's, he's going to make the land keep a Sabbath. Right. What does okay. that mean? Yeah. He say, um, Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard and gather the fruit thereof. But the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for Yah. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard, that which brought of its own accord of thy harvest thou shalt not reap, neither gather the grapes of thy vine undressed, but is a year of rest unto the land. So, so six years... Just think about how powerful Yah is. Really, okay. in six years, you gather everything you want on the sixth year. Now, how you put a banana in, the, in, the, in there and, and wait a week, what happened? A good week or two. Right. It is, it's sport. Yeah, yeah. But he told you gather three years' worth, and we're going to get to that. Three years' worth, because the eighth year,
year, you had to eat what you got in the sixth year, and when right. you reaped on the on that um, eighth year, that's what you ate the ninth year, or what you sold on the eighth year, you ate that the ninth year. So, to put it in perspective, on the sixth year, you harvest, you got enough for three years, and y'all didn't even make it sporty for three years. This is the system that he got, because he perfect, and he made so it. So do I got. So, wow. that's the tell you, that's the tell you. Wow, wow. Um, verse, verse six, it says, and the Sabbath of the land shall be meat for you, for thee, and for thy servant, and for thy maid, and for thy hired servant, and for thy stranger that sojourn with thee. So now you got strangers, you got you got um, servants, and these people who don't really have an inheritance like that. Right, right. So on that seventh year, he said you couldn't gather because when you got Israel and everybody got their own lands, they going out and they gathering, and after you gather, right. you got the fields. What's left in there? Nothing. So he said, don't gather nothing. You can still go out and eat it. He said, it's meat for you. So you, you eat it in the field. But everybody else that's there, all the poor, all the poor. Right now, you go outside and you got somebody that's poor. They got they sign up. You know, even us, we, we, we hurting. And, you know, but he make it to where everybody eat. Everybody oh, yeah. did something. Yeah. Okay. You know, everybody. And this is going to even go even deeper than that because this is how much God cares for his people. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. It says in verse 7, it says, And for thy cattle and for the beasts that are in the land shall all the increase thereof be me. So he gave all of that to the people on that seventh year. Whatever grow up in there, that because you didn't till the land, but it was still things that grew. Right? Yeah, okay. It says, Then shalt thou cause the trumpet, or hold on, verse, verse 8, it says, and thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years. And the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years. So that's the Jubilee. Yeah. It says, then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. Mm -hmm. And the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Now check what it says in verse 10. It says, and ye shall hollow the fiftieth year. And proclaim liberty throughout the land, all the inhabitants thereof, and it shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possessions, and he ye shall return every man unto his family. So, so if I had you as a servant for me on this day, and, and, and notice that this is the 50th year yeah, of Jubilee. Right. There's something else that happened on this day, too. This is still the time when you don't sow in the land. So right. now when you do free the service, they still can go and eat and gather beans for they out of the harvest and out of the field. Yeah. So you let them go. Nobody stays slaves. How long do we stay slaves over here? 180 years. 180 years. I know he said it took 40 years to get us out of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's, it's serious. Yeah. Yeah. So, so even when we got over here, we had civil rights and, and all these different acts, constitutional, and we fight and people died. And, and all of these years, you know, they don't obey the scriptures. They don't look up to God. They serve Baal and, and the religion that they gave us just to follow so they control us. Just like they say, they put the, they make Yahushua white, call him Jesus. And if we look at him and say, he's white, then when we look at the slave master, he's the God. Yeah. So we don't yeah. go against him. You know, so that, I'm, you know, I'm the last person that's, that's, that's prejudiced. But it's true. The truth Amen. is yeah. the truth. So... You know, in this situation, these are the things that we that we face. So he returned everybody back to their people, and now you're free now. You yeah. don't have to worry about this because this is the system of God. But let's continue to go even deeper. Come on. It says, verse 11, a jubilee shall be that 50th year, shall that 50th year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither wheat that which groweth of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in the vine. And the van undressed, or of the vine undressed, and that means the grapes that fell on the ground yeah. that was separated. Yeah. It said, For it is the Jubilee, it shall be holy unto you. You shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. So you got to go in the field and eat it if you wanted to eat it. Mm -hmm. And that year of this Jubilee shall return every man unto his possessions, 
And if thou sell aught unto thy neighbor, or buyest aught out of thy neighbor's hand, ye shall not oppress one another. You know what that means? Yeah, yeah, so, so now, after you freeing everybody up, and I come to you to buy something, I'm upset. I'm trying to sell you things that's higher than what it is. Get a get an increase. Are you trying yeah. to, you know, talk me all the way down when you know what you buying from me is worth my price? So now we oppressing one another because we can let our servants go. See, this is the system of God. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Verse 15, it says, According to the number of years after the Jubilee, thou shalt buy of thy neighbor, and according to the number of years of the fruits, he shall sell unto you. So y'all already knew we would get like this. Yeah. Let me tell you how to sell and how to buy on, to man. avoid this whole thing from happening. Because y'all stiff in that. Yeah. And, and then we in the world where everybody <laughs> want to get over on everybody. And everybody want to get angry. Yeah. And everybody want to eat and have more. You know, yeah. One thing I heard just, just coming up and doing my music, they always used to say, um, you know, that that that, that we, we never want to see each other succeed. Right. Like you always got different groups. Yeah. And this group trying to do better than that group. Right. But well, if we can come together, like some of the other nations, I, I heard about, oh, a, 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 you know, the, the, the one Jews. Right. It's a community. They say the money go through their community 10, 12 times right. before it yeah. can go out. Right. You know, we support each other like we're supposed to support each other and love each other yeah. come on. like ourselves. Yeah. Then we will do this, these things. We won't have this issue. That's right. So, That's you right. know, That's but true. in the new heaven, we won't have That's this right. issue. That's, That's why right. I say the message won't compliment the new heaven message. <laughs> in a way. Let's continue. It says, um, let me see, verse 16. According to the multitude of years, thou shalt increase the price thereof. And according to the fewness of years, thou shalt diminish the price of it. For according to the number of the years of the fruits, doth he sell unto thee. Ye shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt feel thy fear thy Elohim. For I am Yah, your Elohim. Wherefore, ye shall do my statutes and keep my judgments and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land safely. If you do what I say do, and listen to what I say do, and obey my commandments and statutes, the whole scriptures, everything is about keeping those commandments. Right. Keep those yeah. commandments, and you you in the right place with yeah. God. That's right. And believe in who we say believe and have yeah, his right. faith. And Yahushua HaMashiach. He said, if you do these, you will be safe. Oh, yeah. I said, well, why can't we follow simple directions? <laughs> yeah. He said, and if we shall say, what shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow nor gather or increase. Remember I said he'll, he'll right. give you, he'll, um, they got to gather three years worth. Mm -hmm. He said, then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for three years. Wow. Three years, you got to have for three yeah. years. Sit on the shelf. That's unheard of. And ye shall sow the eighth year, and eat yet of the old fruit until the ninth year. Until her fruits come, and ye shall eat of the old store. You know, my, my aunt called me the other day, and she, um, I help her out a lot, and she, she, she just got her own place. And um, she said, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a car and, and doing a payment. So, and she ain't sound excited. She was like, I'm getting a car. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> you know, so, and, and I said, okay, you know, do what you say you're going to do. And I, I, he hung up. I called Yosef, told him, you know, Yosef's like, man, nah, 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 man, she's struggling, man, you can't do that. So I called her back. I said, well, do you really want to go on the back? And she just got excited, like, no, I really don't. But my daddy, I talked to him, and he said, do this. And I said, how much do you feel your daddy going to pay for you? Yeah. None? Okay, well, look. You know, we'll help you get a vehicle. And, you know, she know the business I am. I deal yeah. with cars. So I said, we'll help you get a car. Just be a little patient. We'll get you yeah. one in a couple of weeks or, or even a week or so. So, you know, she was excited. But that just that fast. And she was right. telling me how her friend was saying, oh, she in a Christian church. Oh, God, go bless. And he, he gave me a car. And I owe yeah. 14 grand on it. <laughs> you know, she called it, she called it um, the, the next day crying. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bill. See, the scripture, Proverbs 10 and 22, let's, let's see what that says real quick. Yeah, come on with it. Uh, Proverbs yeah, 10 and 22. Talk about the dead, man. Yeah. See, this, this, is, this is why we got to 
the, the kingdom of Yah is coming, and I can't wait for it. Hallelujah. Proverbs 10 and 22 is, is a real simple scripture. It, it says, the, the blessings of Yah, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Come on, man. No sorrow. Come on. These people want to a boatload of debt and say they're happy, and then they got sorrow. Yeah, yeah. I made yeah. that. I made that mistake. Come on. Oh, I'm still okay. paying on the car, three hundred a month. You know, I say, ouch, ouch, ouch. You know, this my this my children's shoes. This is all type of other stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it added sorrow. You think it's a blessing in the beginning when you yeah, first yeah. get in it. I give you a money to it. Yeah. Three, maybe four. You know, but in Babylon, we can't completely not deviate from it because the, they they so superb in the way they set the system up. Yeah, right? yeah. And it ain't y'all system. No, no, so, no. you know, no, we, we in the beast system, but yeah. we can do what we can do That's to right. keep ourselves free from, from certain things and That's put right. ourselves in those predictions and right. right? those positions. Some exactly. Yeah. And, uh, so, <laughs> you know, we're going well, to uh, finish it up here in a second. I've got, got a few more scripts. Going back to Leviticus 25, let's see here. Well, this is this is a real, real thing, and I, I love Yah. Yes, yes, and it sir. says, I was on um, verse, I believe, 22, and I just read these next one. And he shall sow the eighth year. And eat yet of old fruit until the ninth year, mm -hmm. until her fruits come, and ye shall eat of the old store. The land shall not be sold forever. So he said, this land <laughs> shall never be sold. Israel is rightfully ours right now. Yeah, yeah. He's taking us back. It yeah, ain't nobody on, bothered. Yeah. Just like he said in Luke 21, um, he said, um, the Gentiles will dwell until the times of the Gentiles. Okay, right, right, right. They got it. They, they turn us no. It's about, it's about he right. go take them out, and, I get, and it won't be quiet. No. Yeah. It won't no. be a hush. <laughs> We're gonna be building some houses, like 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 Joseph said over there. Yes, so I hope y'all got y'all um, a game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. And then it says, um, he said we should not sell it. That's that's so deep. 23. It says the land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine. It's my land. For ye are strangers and sojourners with me. So it, it ain't even, it's our land, yeah. but it's really his yeah. land, on, and we're strangers with him. Yeah. 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 Come on. That's the way y'all. He, he letting us know what the deal is. Yeah. He said, If thy brother be waxing poor and have sold away some of his possessions, and if any of his kin come to redeem it, then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. And if the man have none to redeem it, and himself be able to redeem it, then let him count the years of the sale thereof, and restore the overplus unto the man whom he sold it, that he may return unto his possession. So, he, he, I mean, the system is set up so superb where, you know, you can even come redeem something you sold. You know, and, and everybody eat in this whole thing. I'm not going to go over the whole thing, but even a person who bought it, he gets something back as well right. before you can redeem. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's the system of God that he got set up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down to verse 29 real quick. Got a more. It says, and if a man sell a dwelling house in a walled city. Now, this is where we got a house inside the city because Jerusalem was compassed with a wall in these days. Mm -hmm. So if you had a house inside the city, um, that he may redeem it within a whole year after it is sold. Within a full, full, full year may he redeem it. So he lets you redeem your house if you sell it. You get that back, you know, and, and they say it. And if it be not redeemed within the space of a full year, then the house that is in the wall city shall be established forever to him that bought it throughout his generations. It shall go out in the jubilee. So there you go. And, that, and that's, that's pretty much right there, self-explanatory. Let's go down to 39. And this is this got to do with our brethren right here. See, we can we can easily take advantage of our own brothers and sisters, yeah, yeah, especially when we got the dollar sign in our minds like Scrooge, yeah, um, sure. McDuck. <laughs> I know y'all remember that. That part. Um, 39, it says, If thy brother that dwell by thee be 
waxen poor, and be sold unto thee, thou should not compel him to serve as a bond servant. Mm. So your brother over here poor, and you pick him up and you, you bring him in, don't make him a slave. That's right. Don't whack him in and make him serve you as a slave. Mm -hmm. But it says, but as in hired servant, so pay him away. Yeah. And, you know, that's the way God, I mean, it just amazes me because I look at the way the world is today. I walk outside and I, you know, I worked for a company for about four years and they were just like, I'm going to say it, they were presidents. They would not promote a black person. And the black people made the most money for the yeah. company. Yeah. You know, and, and it's just like, that's how they, they stick together and they can get away with it. Guess what? This state country. This state system. This state system. We can't get away with it. Let us let me own a company and only promote blacks. I bet you I'll be in court eventually. You know, but that's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's the way it's going to stay. So. And until we get up out of this country. You know, but it says, um, hire him as a servant, as a sojourner. He shall be with thee and shall serve thee until the year of the Jubilee. And then the Jubilee, you set him free. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possessions of his father shall he return. Mm -hmm. So in all actuality, what really happened, when your brother was sitting there poor, you picked him up, you hired him, you got him on his feet. How many people doing that out here for people? I mean, you got him on his feet. That's the that's that's modern day terms of what really. yeah, God just yeah. put in y'all terms. But modern day, you all right, brother, come work for me. I got a job for you. Yeah. And then, you know, when the jubilee comes, you walking out and you you back where you need to be. Yeah, your family, yeah. everybody else. Yeah, well, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. We won't have these issues in the new heaven because y'all gonna have it perfect this time. Yes, Ain't sir. nobody gonna mess it up. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, Adam won't bite that fruit. We got some questions for him. When we get there. <laughs> Basically, that's the way it's going. Then, all to say, you know, from verse 55, and it's just the end of the verse. It says, For unto me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. So, so unto me the children of Israel are servants. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Not yeah. unto nobody else. Right. So when we go into slavery, really, y'all really vexed that when people treating us wrong and yeah, putting yeah, us in slavery on, because we, yeah. we only service to him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the scripture says, um, do you know you are servants to whom you obey? So, you know, he saying they are my servants who I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am their fellow king. So I'm going to end it with that. Hallelujah. Let's give the men of God another hand.